I had a question today about measuring multiple angles uh, away from a coordinate system at the same time. <laughs> and so uh, what I've got here is a model with four lines. Uh, each of these lines passes through that center point, uh, kind of just for fun. They don't need to, but, uh, but they do here. Looks a little cleaner that way. And you'll notice that these are all at some kind of interesting angles, right? Uh, this line over here is in the XY plane. Uh, so that one's that one's flat there. Um, there is an inclined plane here that this guy is in, right? That one. So that one's at kind of a compound angle there. Uh, similarly, there's another inclined plane that this guy is on here at another angle. And then just to be different, this guy is going around the Z axis and it's out here in this, in this orientation. Okay. So, so these are all kind of a, a kind of odd, um, odd, uh, compound angles here. Uh, so except for the first one, <laughs> it's just inclined relative to the, to the, the XZ plane. So, um, so doing the measure here, uh, one thing we can do here that I think may be useful in this context, um, as we're doing the measure, we can use this measurement method, this from a reference object here. And this is going to choose one object first to be the reference object and then perform uh, n number of measurements, uh, some set of those, uh, away from that object. Okay. So for instance, if we picked the, uh, say this XZ plane down here as the first one, it'll show a little icon here at the beginning that tells us that's the reference object. It'll be the top object in the list. You can move another object to the top of the list if you want to later. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we'll start with that one. And uh, let's go grab that line. And right now we're getting the, the angle and the distance here. Um, this right now is in this value only scene dialog mode here where we've, we're kind of shortening that just for, for clarity. So I've got the angle and the distance. I'm going to turn off the distance. We're just looking at angles right now and, uh, and leave it in the short mode here, right? So that'll be, uh, that'll be that guy. Uh, so we've, we've got the, again, the reference object and one other, other now. It's this, this curve. Uh, if we pick another object now, it'll add it to the list and, and create a second one of these from that same baseline, right? From that plane, which is kind of cool. And then we can pick a couple more and, and it'll do a similar thing there, right? So that'll grab those guys. And, uh, and we've got an angle now for each of those relative to this XZ plane, right? You can see that, that the one end of those is all here on the XZ plane. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Now, this is the interesting part. So, so that, that, that first object up there in the measure command, we can come back to the measure command and select really any of these. And, and if we pick one of these in the list, we, we go into a reselection mode, right? Where we can choose uh, another object and it'll replace the one that we have in the list right now. So right now, these are all measured relative to the XZ plane. If we switch and select the XY plane instead here, we don't have to deselect. We'll just select a new one. Um, it'll switch all of those now. So now those are all measured relative to that XY plane, right? Which is kind of cool. Or we can pick the YZ plane here, for instance, and it'll measure all of those relative to the YZ plane like that. Okay. Or the axes here, actually, we can go say, I want it relative to the X axis, right? And it's going to measure them all away from the X axis or, or Y, for instance, if that's what we're after or Z, for instance, right? And so pretty quickly we can get to really all of those components of, of all of those measurements um, in uh, by, by, by doing that, right? Uh, use that first object as the reference object. Just reselect that reference object and we get all those measurements relative to really, in this case, all six of those kind of components of the, uh, the datum coordinate system there. Okay. So reselection, super, super handy. Okay. Um, this works also in single mode, right? So for instance, if we've got, uh, say, just the x-axis here, and we're in single uh, select, uh, measurement mode here, right? We can select this line, for instance. Uh, again, we just want the angle there. And, and go back to object two here, right? And say, instead of um, instead of this one, uh, I'm going to reselect object two and say, I want to look at that one instead, or that one instead, right? Or that one instead. And it'll, it'll just let us pick through now very quickly and get the new angle for, for any new selected object that we pick, right? Um, we can do a very similar thing here if we wanted to with the distance instead, right? It's a minimum distance to that one or that one 
or that one or that one, right? And that's a, a clean way to, to very quickly reselect and, and do multiple measurements fast. Okay, so uh, I hope you find that useful.